Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk to you about something kind of special here. We're doing something different. It's not a toy review, not a comic book review. we got something a little different. We've got The Life and Times of Grizzly Adams Season 1 on DVD. Now, as a child born in the mid-70s, I vaguely remembered the show from my childhood. I haven't seen it since, uh, you know, I probably caught it in reruns in 79, 80, 81, sometime in that time period. And uh, I haven't seen it since then. But the moment this started to play, it all came flooding back to me. Season 1, The Life and Time of Grizzly Adams. This is just a fantastic show, and it is now coming out on DVD, available November 6th. It starred Dan Haggerty playing James Grizzly Adams. And basically, his story was, he was accused of murder that he did not commit, uh, and he couldn't prove his innocence, so he just left. And he fled into the mountains in the 1800s, 1860s, uh, something like that, and uh, just made his uh, way in the uh, new American frontier. And along the way, he finds a bear cub who's in trouble, and he saves the bear cub and finds out that he's got a special link with animals. And he can, in a sense, communicate with them. Not exactly like Aquaman talking to fish type of communication, but he can still kind of <clears throat> sense their emotions. They can sense his. He can kind of sense what their intentions are, and they can sense his. And he understands them, and they kind of understand him. But it's not like he has, you know, open conversations with him, uh, you know, like uh, Dr. Doolittle. Uh, but, you know, it's it's somewhat similar. And um, and he uh, just decides he's going to make his way living uh, with the animals and with the uh, the rest of the mountain folk. Um, now, also on the show was Denver Pyle, who played uh, Madman Jack, who was another mountain man that lived nearby. And if he looks a little familiar to you, he should. He was Uncle Jesse on the Dukes of Hazard TV show. If you remember that one, uh, that was pretty fun. Uh, and then we also had Don Shanks as uh, Nakot. Nakoda, um, who was a uh, friendly Indian, who was uh, Grizzly Adams' blood brother. Uh, they pledged their lives to each other as brothers because they both uh, respected and understood each other and uh, put their lives on the line to save each other. And so really, uh, the story is uh, simple, it's very basic, and it's very family-friendly. And I say family-friendly not meaning it's hokey and there's a lot of jokes and there's fun stuff for the kids. I mean family-friendly in the sense that uh, it's just uh, pleasant. Um, there's no harsh language. There's no sexual innuendo. Um, it's very straightforward. It's very to the point, um, and it's uh, uh, just very innocent in that sense. Now, you do get all 13 episodes of the first season on uh, the four DVDs included in this set. Uh, and you're going to find uh, that these episodes, uh, first of all, the show ran an hour long. So if you're expecting some sort of quick setup, uh, some sort of follow through, and then an ending that's going to wrap it up all in like 22 minutes that you're used to on your average TV show nowadays, that ain't happening. Uh, first of all, uh, commercial breaks were not as long back in those days. And so the show is actually a lot longer per episode and it takes its time. Uh, it meanders along the same way you would meander across a dusty trail through the mountain. Uh, you know, it's just going to get there the, when it gets there. You're not going to rush things along. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that these episodes are taken from original sources. Uh, they've been, um, you know, digitally encoded through the best process that they have available, but they haven't been remastered in the sense. They didn't go through and take out all the little scratches and all the little dust marks and things like that. So you are going to run into some of that from time to time. It in no way diminishes the experience. At no point do you stand there and feel like it's distracting uh, from your overall enjoyment of it. You're never, uh, you know, the film doesn't break in the middle and then, it, you know, tries to get back on spool or anything like that. Um, but, it, you know, you just have to kind of keep in mind that from time to time it does, uh, you know, show some grain and show some dust. So if you're a big video file and you're watching this on your 92 inch flat screen TV, uh, it is going to stand out to you as, uh, you know, not having that extra polish that some people would look for. Uh, but overall. 
It's on four DVDs, so the compression is not huge. Uh, so overall, it looks very nice. Um, it is, you know, from the late 70s, so you don't have a lot of the surround sound or anything like that going on. You are getting your uh, basic, uh, you know, two-channel stereo as far as the DVDs go. And one oversight that's kind of glaring to me is that, you know, it does come with four DVDs. And the DVDs all pretty much look the same, uh, except the color in the sky is different. And it lists the episodes, uh, but there's nothing on here that tells you what order the episodes are supposed to be watched. Uh, so when you open it up at first, you're not really sure which disc is disc one. Where do you start with the season? Now, the way you can tell is that there are little code numbers on each disc. And the code numbers, uh, they're not um, you know, in order, uh, but they do go in the order that the discs go. And what I mean by that is, this one is 65486. This one is 65496. So you've got a jump of 10 numbers from disc to disc. So, But this disc, because it's a smaller number, comes first, this comes second. Uh, then we've got 66506 and 66516. So uh, again, you can look at the numbers and put them in order by that kind of cataloging uh, disc number, but there's nothing that actually says this is disc one, this is disc two. Um, so you do kind of need to keep that in mind when you sit down to watch them. And it does help to watch them in order uh, because there are certain things that they reveal about his history, uh, the time he met Madman Jack, his time meeting Nakoma, uh, all of that kind of stuff, you know, kind of filters throughout the season. And so it's kind of helpful to know that. Um, now, another thing I really like about this show is that it came during a time when the environmental movement started to kind of push forward, but before it got really, you know, douchey. Um, so he's, he's environmental in the sense that he understands how nature works, and he understands that... Um, you have to work within the certain boundaries of nature, but at no point is he stopping someone from hunting an animal. You know, at no point is there like the evil coal miner going to come and tear down the mountain. You know, you don't have lies about fracking and all that stuff going on. I mean, this is pretty much uh, like a Teddy Roosevelt, straightforward environmental uh, work with the animals. Uh, in fact, there's a time when uh, like one of the episodes, uh, beavers are going to build a dam and they're going to flood the valley where his uh, cabin is. And uh, so in order to make them uh, go away, he brings in a couple skunks and convinces the skunks to come and scare away the beavers. Uh, you know, so in a sense, he's not going, he's not shooting the beavers and killing them. But at the same time, he's not going, well, it's a beaver building a dam. You just got to let them do their thing. You know, it, it works within that idea of the animals working together in a sense. And the animals do become kind of characters with him. So overall, uh, you've got over 10 hours of TV here. You've got the four DVDs, the 13 episodes. Uh, it, just very well done. Nice package, except for the oversight on, uh, you know, labeling the discs. I'd have to say that this is a very well thought out package. This is coming to you from Timeless Media uh, and CBS uh, DVD. Uh, they've put this together coming out November 6th. Make sure you look for it. If you're a fan of old TV shows uh, or you just love the idea of Grizzly Adams, you've heard it referenced maybe in Clerks or something and you want to check it out, you can pick that up. You can go ahead and pre-order it now. Look for it November 6th. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.